We got our keys. Oh my goodness. We definitely need to get a new one. We can't be dancing people. It would be me who has a hard time opening the door. Here we are. Wow, this is our place. Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. My name is Shanae Suggs and in today's video I am going to be showing you guys around our new place. We officially moved in this past weekend and got the place together fairly quickly because I don't play when it comes to moving. I cannot live in a disheveled space. So I wanted to just kind of take you around what I have so far give a little bit of what I plan to do. I'll link my Pinterest boards below and then you guys can really see some of the ideas that I have. So anyways, so what you guys can see behind me is our kitchen. It is humongous. Um, way bigger than when we lived in before. The one we lived in before was not very open. It was like a skinny kind of galley kind of kitchen. It had a little bit of an island, but this one, as you guys can see, there is so much cabinetry. I'm gonna insert some clips of me just holding the camera. And if you guys hear my dogs playing, that's, that's what's going on. That's all the sound. <laughs> um, but yeah, ta-da! Um, some things that I do want to do is I just want to add some stuff to the island here. Like I want to add, um, I have a vase, but it's glass. I'm going to paint it and see if I can make it look like a clay vase. Um, so watch a video maybe coming for that. And I want to add like a table runner and um, some decorative plates and things like that just so it feels more homey and then other than that I just think I want to get a couple things for the counter just to make it look a little bit more warm because I like to bring a lot of warmth um, into my space especially because with the cooler tone browns and stuff it's already kind of it's got the cool factor right so that's the kitchen and then what you see behind me over here is just the dog area where they eat their food and then we have a wall hanging that we've had for years uh, hanging there so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the living room as best as I can really quickly okay so behind me is kind of sort of our, our well, it is our living room but you're seeing like half of it the other part of it is the TV on this side which I'll insert a clip of um, but our huge couch fits perfectly we have windows all along this wall so we get tons of really, really, really awesome light and um, plans for this this space because <laughs> there's not really much to share beyond the couch right now. Um, there's a rug that I do, well, I keep switching up my ideas on rugs because rugs are really important. Like It really helps to bring a space together, so I haven't quite found the one that I want yet. The one I have pinned right now is the one I'm most in love with, so we'll see what happens. But I also want to put some art just behind here. Um, and then above the TV, I'm still trying to figure out. In the corner that you guys are standing in with the camera tripod, um, I really want to put a large plant. Thinking maybe like a bird of paradise kind of plant because I had one of those before and I absolutely loved it. Um, and I think it would go great in this space right here. Um, so I'll make sure I'm inserting clips for you guys so you get an idea of what I'm talking about. But yeah, here would be definitely... Um, see if I can move you guys down just a bit. Uh, there we go. All right, so where the dogs are. Rug and then a coffee table, and then I want to get some decorative things for a coffee table. Again, you'll see all of this stuff that I'm looking to get on my Pinterest board. Um, I have a Pinterest board for every room. But yeah, so that's, that's kind of what I want to do with this space. Again, I want to just make it feel homey. Um but I don't want to make it feel cluttered. Like I still like a fairly clean, clean look. So this is the other side of the living room that I was talking about. I, right now it just has a TV and a TV stand. We're debating on if we want to hang the TV at some point, but our couch is so low that we kind of want to leave it at the same level. So I'm thinking I might want to just hang something over uh, the TV. I don't know if it's going to be art. I don't know if it's going to be just pictures of like family. I, I have no idea yet. So if you guys have any ideas of cool decorative ideas to put above the TV, um, 
let me know. I mean, even floating shelves could be good. We also want to replace the TV stand. It used to have two doors, but our bigger dog, Luna, broke it when she was spinning in a circle, chasing her tail. <laughs> so um, we want to replace it and get a longer one, actually, um, so that we can eventually get a bigger TV in the future. But yeah, it feels like it looks so low, but like if I, if I back up, <laughs> it's not that, that low. I'm 5'2", but you know. So anyways, yeah, so that's the other side of the living room. Um, and that corner over there is where I had you guys on the camera. And so that's where I want to put that plant. I might put a couple plants there, um, but definitely I'm thinking bird of paradise. And yeah, other than that, I just want art. Like, I'm going to try to show you, like, we have all these windows. I'm going to put curtains. That's the other thing. Yeah, lighting is horrible with that. But I'm going to put curtains. Um, so curtain here, curtain here. And I'm thinking they're going to be either like a golden yellow, like a mustard yellow, or maybe a burnt orange. One of the colors that I have on the couch, I have um, like that golden mustard yellow, deep forest green, and like a burnt orange. Those are just like, I like the warm tones. So curtains, I forgot to mention as well, will be definitely going up. If not, it'll be my first time doing curtains in an apartment, but I'm really trying to make it feel like like this is our home because I think I'm going to be here for a couple years at least. So that is the living room. <laughs> okay, so this is our entryway. Um, again, <laughs> it's very plain right now, but I can tell you that what I want to do is I want to have art. So I'm going to have art here and a plant here and my dogs following me. And then this is like a a fairly wide hallway, so I want to put a nice runner here. Um, and so I have a, a board for this as well called Entryway. And the rug that I have pinned, it's like an orange kind of rug. Um, and oh, another thing I did mention about the kitchen, I do want to put a rug in the kitchen as well where the sink is. And that rug is also orange, but I believe the one I picked out is a washable one because things can definitely get spilled in there. Um, so that's all that I can think for the kitchen that I forgot to mention. But beyond that, we have like our laundry room. Um, and I'll show you guys just a quick clip of that. It's not that exciting. But one thing I do want to get is there's like a, a little skinny rack that you can do that, that rolls almost like a mini bar cart. But it's really slim. And it's, it rolls in between your washer and dryer. And it can hold like your laundry detergent. And it can, um, on top, you can hang clothes on it to dry and stuff. And so... I'm thinking I want to do that because the shelf in the laundry room is so high up and I'm short that to be reaching up to try to get laundry detergent every time I wash clothes is just like a freaking headache. So that's something that I definitely want to get for the laundry room. And I also, yeah, I think that's it. Not much you want it. I mean, it'd be different if I had an actual room room, but it's like more like a laundry closet. So that's pretty much it. Um, but yeah. Artwork over here, plant here. It's a very small little entryway. It's not like I have enough space to put like a table and a bench and all that stuff. So um, work with what I have. I maybe can sneak a mirror, maybe, but I haven't really found a hanging mirror that I really love. So I'm thinking I'm just gonna stick with art. Um, and so yeah, I have all that stuff pinned in my entryway Pinterest board. Welcome to my bedroom. So this is the same bed that we've always had. Um, the room here is a little bit a little lot of it, kind of a bit smaller <laughs> than the room that we had before. Um, but bed still fits fine. Um, the major things that I want to do in this room. So uh, curtains here, the windows here. I'll try to, you know, we have one window, um, but it lets in a ton of light. But I'm thinking I want to put like, it's like a mauve kind of pink color because there's, there's um, these pictures that I want to get, these paintings or prints and they're of um, rose petals. And I think the rose petals are peony or something like that. And they have like a lot of black and um, I like my room to be dark if you haven't noticed. <laughs> um, so we have a black uh, linen comforter. Um, I probably wouldn't recommend the one that we did get. So I'm gonna get a black duvet to cover it just because it releases a lot of, um, it's like an alternative down comforter that we got from Target from the Casa Luna brand. And while I love the way it looks, it sheds a lot of the insert and so that's really annoying if you <laughs> wake up and have lint all over you from the comforters. I want to keep 
the black scheme. So at the end of the bed, there's a velvet quilt that I found on Zara Home that I want to get. It's a more like kind of beige, beige brown kind of color that I want to put at the end. And then it can add just extra warmth in the winter time. Um, and then on top of that, I want to have a throw blanket. Like right now I have this really dark kind of gray. Uh, but the thing is, is with the bed already having the black comforter, and our pillowcases being black, I wanted to bring in some warmth. So there's another throw blanket that I actually also found on Zara Home. It's pinned on the master bedroom Pinterest board. And it's like um, a nice patterned burnt orange, brownish kind of blanket. So it helps to bring in some warmth. If you haven't noticed, a key color throughout this apartment is going to be like a burnt kind of amber orange color. Um... Other things would be definitely adding some decorative pillows. I have yet to find any that I really, really like yet. Um, so we'll see where that goes. And then, like I said, I want to add the paintings. Um, either, I'm debating. So either above the bed, it's two, and I'm going to get them in a pretty large print if they go above the bed. Um, so it would be two, like, right up here above the bed. And then I want to do new nightstands. I found some, I think they're on West Elm, and they're glass with gold um, hardware on it or gold legs and so that'll go really nicely with the fact that our bed has kind of like a gunmetal um, edge to it on the headboard and on the base so yeah we've had I don't know if you guys can see but we've had these little teeny nightstands um, they're not even nightstands. I think they're supposed to be end tables, but we got them from Target like over like maybe five years ago and we just, you know, every time we moved we just kept them because we've never found nightstands that we really cared about um, enough to switch it out, but it's getting to that point where I'm like, okay, I'm ready to, to get something a little bit more elegant feeling. Um, so yeah, I want to replace the nightstands and then... So this is my dilemma. So I'm thinking, so there's a mirror on my Pinterest board and it looks, it's vertical in the picture, but you can hang it sideways. And so I'm thinking I want to put the mirror above the bed because you're really not supposed to, with feng shui, you're not supposed to put mirrors across from the bed. It's better behind the bed. So um, usually you'll see people put mirrors up behind their nightstands, but I don't, I don't think I want to do that just because there's not that much space on either side of the bed. Like if you can see, like there's really not that much space you know what I mean so um that's why I'm thinking maybe I'll put the pictures there and I have no idea I haven't figured it out yet um but that's what the Pinterest board is for because then I can measure things out and see because who knows maybe I'll find like some really cute mirrors that I really really like that I can put behind the nightstands then my other thing is is that if the nightstand I get is the glass one then I don't really want to put a mirror behind it um and then I also pinned some lamps, and those may change as well because I'm debating if I want, um, well, the lamps I pinned are from Restoration Hardware, but I'm going to try to find a dupe for them just because it's just the style I wanted, the antler kind of um, lamp look. So, yeah, that pretty much sums up the bedroom. Um, on this side, there's just a blank wall. I don't know what I'm going to do here yet. Um, I was thinking maybe a dresser, but at the same time, it's already maybe, I don't know, one, <laughs> I don't know, maybe five feet, maybe of like walking space, not even five feet, maybe three and a half to four feet of space in between the wall and the bed. And I just don't want to make it like super slim to walk in here. I like having the space um, at the foot of the bed, but at the same time, I do want to see something there. So maybe if I get something, it'll be like, um, a console table like really slim kind of table that I can put decorative things on and then if maybe store some stuff inside um, but I have yet I mean I have one pinned but I think it might be too thick you know um, but we'll see we'll see so anyways this is my bedroom <laughs> a lot of work to be done but I'm really 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 excited okay and welcome to the master bathroom um, yeah, I've done quite a bit in here. This is probably the one room I've done the most in, um, just because I really wanted to create kind of like a relaxing space. So behind me, what you see, we have a double vanity. This is the first time we've ever had a double vanity in our own place. Um, so it's really nice to like have my own sink and have my, my own area just to store my stuff. Um, this is his side and my side over here. And yeah, so I just 
have my skincare out. We each have our own soap dispensers. I just wanted to make sure we could both like adequately wash our hands and not be like spilling soap everywhere. Um, behind me, you see like they put a, a hook there. I think I want to actually hang like a little mini wall hanging. And the theme, honestly, at first I was going to do a lot of burnt orange in here. Like I had a whole like shower curtain I wanted, but it just, when I saw it in the store, ooh, it just, it did not look good. Um, so we did all white. And um, so I'm mixing in like whites with some neutrals. And then I want to add a pop of maybe like a muted um, orange in here. So maybe the wall hanging can have like a little bit of that in there. I like wall hangings. I think they're just, they're great. They're easy to remove. And there's already a hook there. And I just don't want to hang like a rope or a towel there because I feel like it'll just look messy. Um, and again, I just really wanted it to feel light in here and just relaxing. Like this is where I can recharge when I come in to shower and do my face and stuff at night and just kind of prepare myself for bed. Uh, let me show you guys the other angle. Watch out, Luna. Okay, so this is really the other angle. So this is the shower curtain I was talking about. And then we hung our towels here because if you guys couldn't see in the last clip, they um, how they designed this apartment is they put a, the towel rack above the toilet, which is across <laughs> the bathroom. And I'm like, who the hell is getting out of the shower completely soaking wet to then pull a towel off and dry off? So we just got a little command hook um, up here. And um, these things work great. And we just hung both our towels. So that is it. And then we have our... Our closet which I can you can come in you can come in and see a little bit of that so let me move you guys so this is our closet and we have a sliding door which is really nice because it saves space and yeah this is our closet it is a fairly large closet it's a walk-in closet you know bam bam <laughs> you know um so my husband has way more clothes than me so all you're seeing right now is my husband's clothes my clothes are in this corner um I can't say there's much else that I really want to put in here. I want to keep it fairly simple and clean. I do want to get a dresser. So like where under my husband's clothes are, I want to get a longer dresser. We have a really short one. I'll try to show you guys um, <laughs> if I can. Um, so we have this little one that we've had for maybe three years now um, that we got from World Market. I absolutely love it, but I just don't know where where I can put it right now. And not the bedroom because it does not mesh with my bed. Um, but I mean, ultimately, I do like this, so maybe we'll keep it in here, or maybe we'll move it to the second bedroom. Um, but I do want just a nice, like, I want, when you walk in here, I want it to look, like, beautiful. So I'd rather, like, move these clothes to the side, like, have Steven move his clothes over here, um, have a nice long dresser, and have it decorated, like, how I have this mirror and the flowers and stuff, um, and be able to have, like, a his and her side, and then keep the middle fairly clean and unobstructed. Um, other than that, I'm not trying to like think about hanging pictures or anything in here. I'm not going that far. Um, we'll see. <laughs> but um, yeah, and then on this side, we just have um, shoe racks and our hamper, which I don't know if you guys can see, but I'll kind of do some like little zoom in clips for you guys. But yeah, that's the bathroom and the closet. Now I'll take you to the other side of the apartment, uh, which is right now currently the guest bedroom, dog room, office, and bathroom closet. So let's go ahead. Okay, so welcome to the second bedroom. So I'm showing you guys the nice side of it first. So we have this beautiful cabinet here, which I freaking love. Um, we used to have a built-in desk in our old apartment, so that's where we housed our computer, but now here we don't. So we're using it almost like as a standing desk and a cabinet and decorative piece as well until we potentially get a new desk. So that's this side. I definitely want to add art. I like art. <laughs> um, I definitely want to add art. And then here we have another window. It gets really nice and bright in here as well. And um, I'm thinking... Um, I wanted to do like a hunter green curtains. I have them pinned. There's a Pinterest board called guest bedroom um, and then also guest bathroom. So and then previous to the other stuff I showed you there was master bedroom, master bathroom and master closet um, were all different Pinterest boards. So again you can find all my Pinterest boards below um, if you need suggestions or if you just want to be nosy and see how I'm going to be decorating. <laughs> um, but yeah so this is this half of the room. And then if we spin around to this half, 
you can see the top of their crate. So this is Zoe's, hold on, Zoe's crate here, the tiny one. And then the bigger one is Luna's crate. Um, I'm hoping that within the next, I don't know, so at some point we can be able to let them kind of be without their crates so much because they are eyesores. They're not the most nice to look at. And if we want to turn this into a guest bedroom at some point, we're not going to be able to fit the crates in here with a bed, you know. I mean, it's not like we're going to put a king size in here. It'll probably be like a queen um, or a double, just probably a queen because I want whoever stays here to be able to, you know, feel like luxurious when they stay here too. Um, but yeah, so... I want to get art for in this room. Um, there's some pet portraits that I want to get done of our two dogs where they put them in like English suits and things like that. Um, so I want to get something like that done for each dog and hang that in here. And then, yeah, other than that, I have pinned like bedding and stuff. So there's a certain vibe I'm going for, but have yet to find a bed that I actually would want to purchase for a guest bed because it's like a that's a whole second bed that you're most likely not ever going to use unless somebody comes to stay. So it's not like it's a 911 emergency. We don't have people like coming to visit and stay often. So I'm more so focused on making this more of like comfortable for my dogs first. Um, and then we'll work from there. But let's go ahead and check out the second bathroom. Okay, so this is the second bathroom. Um, not much going on yet. I did copy a couple things, like there's the same white shower curtain is in here, um, but there's a whole different plant in here, um, fake plant, obviously there's no windows in here. Um, I didn't get any um, soap dispensers yet, because at first I was on, I only bought, there was only two left at the, the Target where I got them from, and I went to try to find them at another Target and they didn't have them, so I'm going to have to order them online. I'm thinking I'm still going to get two, because I just feel odd getting one, and I just want it to have like symmetry. Um, so yeah, this is pretty much the dog's bathroom, so I have things like <laughs> their toothbrushes and stuff. Um, I need to get a more decorative, nice way <laughs> to display those. Um, but yeah, beyond that, it's still, it's fairly, fairly empty in here. We do have a linen closet in here, so that's helped a lot with storage. So, you know, there's a, watch out, Lou. There's a lot of stuff that I can store in here, extra towels you know, old stuff from the other place. Okay, girls, come on, out, out, out. <laughs> they love going in there and sniffing everything. Um, thinking I could probably hang a wall hanging here, right? Wall hanging, wall hanging. And I'll probably put a hook here for the shower as well for whenever, inter whenever somebody does come to stay, they have somewhere to hang a towel. And, oh, the one thing I didn't mention is, so the towel racks in each bathroom above this, the toilets, I'm looking for some sort of decorative kind of towels that we can put there um, just for decor. So if you guys come across any, let me know. I'm always on the hunt, you know, and looking across the various stores that I tend to shop. So I shop a lot at like, I don't know, West Elm, World Market. Target is definitely one that I go to a lot. I haven't been back to like a Home Goods in a while just because it's been kind of chaotic. Uh, but I do like home goods, not that you can find their stuff online. Um, anthropology I really like too, restoration hardware. I just, I like to shop at many different places or at least pin stuff from different places because I tend to run into the things that I pin when I'm in store um, and I'll end up purchasing it that way or sometimes I'll order it online or sometimes I'll just be walking through a store and I'll find something that looks really similar to what I pinned and then I'll just buy that um, instead. So yeah let me know if you guys come across any kind of like nice decorative towels um i'm still doing the same kind of colors in here so still adding like a little bit of that pale orange in here with the neutrals and the white um the plant may change i don't know right now i really like it in here i like adding the greenery to the bathroom and the other thing i didn't mention with both bathrooms is i'm also looking to add maybe another rug where the sinks are but I have yet to fully decide on that either. But anyways, let me quickly show you guys um, the closet. So not much going on in here, to be honest. It's another sliding door. And uh, yeah, as you can see, it's fairly empty. Like I just didn't want it to look cluttered when you walked in, but there's stuff on both sides. So if I bring you in closer, you'll see like we have um, file cabinets and storage stuff and then same thing on this side we have like our mountain of Costco paper towels and tissue 
and shopping bags and things like that. So yeah, I mean, that's the whole apartment, but that is by far, this is by far the largest space we've ever been in. It's two bedrooms. It's almost 1100 square feet. The last space we lived in was about 600 and maybe 60 square feet. And it was a one bedroom. So we doubled in size, literally. Um, the only thing I didn't show you was the patio. Maybe I'll show a quick clip, but I'm, there's not much, there's not much there. It's a really small patio. So, but we do have that as well. And I will make sure, really? <laughs> I will make sure I insert a clip of the front door because I think that um, we got a really cute like doormat. It's from Target. It's from the Magnolia brand. Um, there's one I want from Anthropology as well, but I just we needed one like quick to move in um, just so we don't track a bunch of stuff inside. So that's the one we got for now. Other than that, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I don't know. I mean, yeah, we've moved in. Um, the space feels really good. The energy here feels really good. For the most part, my dogs have chilled out a lot. Luna still barks, as you heard her. Um, she still barks a little bit here and there, but she's definitely chilled out quite a bit. Zoe, you like this space? Jump. Want to say hi? <laughs> you want to say hi? You say hi, everybody. You say hi. You can't have the lipstick. Say hi. Say hi. Yeah. <laughs> so anyways um yeah that's our space guys um look forward to a bunch more home decor kind of videos coming your way because like i've got the home decor bug and this is the first time i've had that in any space we've lived we've been living here in san antonio for five years and i think we've been in apartments for four years now and this is the first space that we've really felt like it's just like home and we're ready to just plant and stay here until we're ready to actually like buy a house. So yeah, definitely going to be decorating. I mean, I'm talking curtains, rugs, you know, all kinds of stuff. So um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. And if you have any questions and if you have any ideas for decor, like I'm down to hear them. So definitely give me some ideas. <laughs> um, but yeah, with that, I'll leave it here. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you next week. Bye.